name is Lindsay Lee Hobson and I work with forward-thinking organisations to elevate their emerging leaders and create the ultimate next generation of leadership. I'm also the founder of the Learning and Development Collective, where driven and passionate L&D professionals from all around the world come together to exchange trending topics, innovative ideas and the best suppliers for their training calendars. And I'm here with one such supplier who's joining me in the studio for the very first time. Welcome Kim Huckabee, who's the founder of The Wellbeing Effect. Welcome, Kim. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, so excited to have you here because we've been on a bit of a journey together in a different life and to be able to introduce you to the members of the evolution, which is for those who are watching forum members, if you don't know, that's the new program we have in the metaverse as a career development to support you in your journey as a business professional, but also as an L&D professional as well. So Kim, you're coming to train us, our members on a few different things around mental health and um, around uh, compliance and psychological safety, which is one of the members, one of the requested topics that they've had. But it's also a really great way for us to end the year because it's such a big topic. And I know that you're going to make it a lot of fun for us. So tell us a little bit before we get into that, actually, tell us a little bit about yourself and a day in the life of Kim Huckabee. Oh, look, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. And, uh, you know, it's it's one of those things, as you say, we're getting to the end of the year, everything's exhausted. We're just having a little chat off camera, uh, just saying how everybody is just at that point. It's our first full year, whether you're in a workplace setting or a school or whatever environment you are, um, everyone's just at that end place of just feeling a bit exhausted and a bit shattered. So couldn't have come at a more perfect time. Uh, look, a day in the life of me, gosh, I don't even know where to start, but... Um, I think for me, which I mean, ironically, I'm the most routine person, but uh, my days are really diverse and I guess I've probably planned them that way uh, subconsciously, um, but I wake up at five. I'm a very strong believer for anyone who's ever seen me talk. I'm a very strong believer in self-care. Um, so I get up at five o'clock every day, most days, um, and I go for a walk. So I walk my dog, but it is my time to connect in uh, with my husband and just connect in with myself and have that time just to, you know, self-care before my big day starts. I um, mean, as you can imagine, I'm talking all things mental health every single day. So it's a very, very important part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my day, I come back, I've got two teenagers. Uh, and as you can imagine, getting them off to school is wild uh, but it's you know I love it and they're out the door and then I come into my workplace whether that's in my office or if I'm going out to a client site uh, and running workshops in mental health or I'm a mental health first aid trainer as well so running lots of mental health first aid sessions um, get keynotes you know whatever whatever is required of me on any given day so um, I love that about my role it's it changes it's dynamic um, I definitely have some weeks that are just home office weeks <laughs> and I have a week every now and then just to do admin because it's I'm terrible at admin so I need a whole week to focus on it uh, no just kidding but yeah I, I just yeah it's something that I um, I always put to the side so it's a trainer and speaker uh, it's uh, certainly something that I need to do but um, yeah that, that's me that's my day Wow. And as a mental health expert, you would have and be around, I would imagine, correct me if I'm wrong, so many difficult conversations because I imagine that you're not only facilitating those, but you're also guiding people like the members of the L&D Evolution on how to provide those trainings themselves and those sorts of workplaces too. So tell us a little bit about that area of expertise for you and what that looks like and what you find in a daily life. Yeah, look, and you know that you're so right. So sometimes, of course, I'm talking to the clients and people who are out in whatever field they're in, being able to support people who, are, who may be struggling. Uh, and in addition to that, people who work in L&D or a bit of a train the trainer. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in every situation, people aren't always the most appropriate person to step forward and to have a conversation with someone. And so um, a big part of what I do is upskilling and enabling people to step forward uh, and, and have a, an important conversation um, but in addition to that it's maybe uh, upskilling someone else so the middleman so to speak uh, in how they can maybe support someone else because just and I always say this I mean the are you okay uh, theme for this year was that you don't need to be an expert to have an are you okay conversation and a mental health conversation and I'm a really big believer in that um, I mean experts our counsellors our psychologists people are so incredibly important uh, in in this space but we all really have a role to play and so yeah it is this kind of ripple effect with this education it's it's educating people who can then go on to yeah to, to educate others in this um, in their areas 
uh, where they work. So, and families as well. Um, I do very much focus on workplace mental health, but um, I do a lot in community settings and schools and things like that. So a lot of work with families too. Yeah. I don't know if I answered your question. Yeah. I, I always go off on tangents, so apologies. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you answered it and then more some, which was amazing. And one of the things that you touched on was around um, training those to have those difficult conversations. And that's so our members over the last couple of years. Learning and development can be a really misunderstood role. And Holler, if you're a forum member and you're watching this and you really feel that, um, it can be such a misunderstood role. And sometimes you get lumped with things that you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? I have no idea. It's got nothing to do with learning and development. And mental health first aid training, whilst it's very much in that camp, but some of the weird requests that people have around that get lumped with L&D professionals because they're just like, that work it out um so tell us yeah, a little bit their role yeah, yeah exactly they'll figure it out but they should know how to do that they should know how to do everything yeah said they know these things <laughs> um, but yes sometimes they don't and they have to learn somewhere which is one of the reasons you're coming to join us for this round table and training in the metaverse which we're super excited for so tell us a little bit about your tips or tricks or um, nuggets of gold that you'll be sharing with our members around um, either being that person that has people coming to them and, and, and around those difficult conversations or setting up training for mental health or first a mental health first day tell us a little bit about what um your area of expertise in that sense uh, look, I think, you know, people, I mean, hopefully what, what people will walk away with and my aim for every single training session or speaking gig that I do is for people to walk away with key strategies that they can implement straight away. Um, and a couple of those little nuggets uh, that you asked for um, that uh, that I often, well, that are really, I guess, very close to my heart and something that I truly believe in. Uh, the first one is about um, authenticity and connection. And I think that that's a really important one, uh, especially as you say in those difficult conversations. I always say my number one strategy, and it surprises people every single time, uh, but is for people to be themselves. And uh, we always think that they're the big shoulds. I should do this. I should say this. And I should act in this way. And absolutely, I will uh, cover off some of those shoulds. Um, but at the end of the day, people are not wanting a robot or a script or a perfected answer. Um, they're looking for that authenticity and that connection piece. So, you know, I think that that's a really important part. Um the other, um, you know, bit of bit of gold uh, that I like to talk about is around walking the talk. And, uh, you know, I definitely, as, as I mentioned earlier, I, I imagine a world where everyone has the skills and confidence to step forward and have these conversations uh, in this space. And I think this is where L&D can really be so helpful uh, in organisations and businesses, because uh, whilst it might not be your area of expertise, I definitely think that there's an element of what, uh, what we do and what you'll learn uh, in coming to my session that you'll be able to impart onto, you know, certain employees and in certain parts of the business. Um, I don't know if I've ever told you this, Lindsay, but I was the L&D director for a couple of years at an organisation I worked for uh, many years ago now. So uh, it, um, I, I feel your pain, people. I, I understand and can really appreciate sometimes when you get asked to do things that uh, don't necessarily fit uh, your area of expertise. And, and sometimes L&D professionals are expected to know everything and, and because that's your role, uh, you know, yeah, we should just have that understanding, that knowledge. So hopefully I'll be able to provide that, uh, some information to you. But I think it's also about boundary setting. Uh, and certainly I know this is something I do speak a lot about in uh, in the workplace because workplaces often go to their L professionals and ask them to do things. Uh, but having those boundaries in place which say, you know what, this is such an important topic uh, and this is in my area of expertise, but let me try and organise that for you. Let me find someone to come in and run this for us. Uh, and that's certainly where I'm seeing being a big change in organizations and businesses where they are not just and that's what I mean by walking the talk they're not you know ticking the compliance box anymore that they mm -hmm. used to but they actually are making meaningful change and uh, and it's great great to be a part of wow I had no idea you used to be an L&D director how did I, I know <laughs> that's amazing that's a secret <laughs> You'll understand what our members are going through on such a deep level then because you know how challenging the last couple of years has been. And if you've been in L&D, you know exactly what that means for them and how that would have um, affected them as well. So super excited to have you come in for a training. Last question for you, Kim. What's the number yes. one thing you feel like um, or that you'll be giving our members as their takeaway uh, from your training session? Ah, uh, look, and I think I've already um, said this a little bit, so sorry to, to reiterate, but 
Uh, my key takeaway always is that, I mean, I know we were only together for a short period of time, so I'm certainly not saying that, you know, in that period of time, you're going to walk away with confidence to step forward and, and have these conversations. I know that it's a lot more than that, but I hope that my key takeaway for everybody turning up and everyone listening to this is that this is the start of your mental health conversations. Everybody is at various levels and, and parts on their, you know, on their journey and learning in mental health. But uh, you know, wherever you are, that this is a point for you to take things further. And, you know, sometimes people walk away from my talks with more questions than answers. And uh, and it might seem a bit crazy, but I get a little bit excited by that because I know then that they're really thinking about, okay, how can I implement this in my workplace? How can I make this happen? How can I make meaningful change? Um, how can I see systemic growth and development in my business? Uh, and uh, and for me, that that's pretty exciting to be in. I love that. That's absolute gold. Kim, we are so excited to have you come and facilitate a session with us in the metaverse. And for members, if you're watching this and you're not an Evolution member and you want to come along to this session or you want to catch the recording afterwards, make sure you follow the prompt around this video somewhere so that you can reach out and let me know. We would absolutely love to have you. Kim, thank you once again for so much gold that you've just shared today, but also what's to come in your session. I couldn't be more excited for it. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Kim, and we'll see you there.